Greetings today in the name of the triune God who is always with us. I am Debbie Bartley and I am honored to serve as one of the associate pastors of First St. Charles. Would you believe it has been seven months since we began sharing our daily devotionals with you? Has it gone by quickly or does it seem more like seven times seven months? Well, it is a privilege and an honor to know that you are watching our devotionals, and we all appreciate the time you devote to watching them, and we don't take it or you for granted. And speaking for myself, I've learned much over these past seven months, and I am not just talking about technology though that's accounted for a huge amount of the technical growth I have gotten. I have added much to my resume. I've also grown in the practice of what are called spiritual disciplines. Now, most people twinge at the sound of the word discipline, and I do too. Yet, when we talk about them in this sense, we are just merely talking about spiritual practices ways to get to know God better, to grow in our faith, to simply become better persons. So for the next several weeks, I thought we could take a look at some of the spiritual practices together. Now, I know we are all very busy with our lives, and sometimes, just maybe, we feel pulled in so many directions that something has to give. And that something all too often is our time with God. I hear you. I confess that it happens to me too. But what if we take some steps together, along with a bit of help from my friends? The first step is simply opening the door to finding time, to liberating ourselves to find the time, to being creative and willing to change the way we have been doing things, to move from, I've always done it this way, or I can't possibly do that. Have you ever heard of that before, or from yourself or others? But maybe if we allow ourselves to just be goofy and laugh at ourselves, or allow ourselves to be goofy and just simply see what happens, or if we are like George Banks, the father in the original Mary Poppins movie, and we simply crave structure. We could have a change of heart, a change of spirit, and become free enough to run off and go fly a kite. So each week I'll share one or two clips from a Disney movie, hoping you'll watch them and let them help guide you as you grow in your spiritual practices. So here's the first step for us to do this first week. We're going to open our Bibles to Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 8. Proverbs is in the Old Testament right after the Psalms. It's my go-to scripture. Four verses, and we're going to do four things as we read Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 8. We're going to read the text slowly, listening for a word or phrase that speaks to us. We're going to think about that word and phrase and what it's saying to us. And if our mind wanders, that's okay. We just circle back to the word or the phrase. We're going to talk to God about what we're thinking. And then we're simply going to rest in God's presence and end with a simple amen as we end our time with God. So, Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 8. Read the text and listen for a word of phrase. Think about it. Share it with God. And pause and rest in God's presence. And say, Amen. And my prayer is that together, as we practice some of these spiritual disciplines, we will grow in our love of ourselves and our neighbors. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the opportunity to spend time with you. Help us to find that time. Help us to grow in our faith. 
and help us to grow to be better persons, to love ourselves and our neighbors and you. And we pray all of this in the name of your son, Jesus' name. Amen. So may you enjoy the two clips from Mary Poppins this week. One is called, This is the Life I Lead, and it's all about Mr. Banks' obsessive routine. And the second, Let's Go a Flight, go, Let's Go Fly a Kite, speaks to Mr. Banks' transformation and his newfound enjoyment of life. And maybe, just maybe sometime this week, in the midst of everything going on, you could find time, either literally or figuratively in your head, to go fly a kite. So let's continue to stay safe. Let's continue to connect with each other as we continue to connect with God. And let's share God's love with everyone today, tomorrow, and every day. God bless.